Hello folks, welcome to the Just Flight Hawk version 1.1. We're sat on the ground here at Lee's Bradford. This is the real world weather. Look at that rainbow. Wow, that's very impressive. We're just going to take this for a little flight. But it's going to be a short video. I just really want to tell you of some of the uh, improvements that Just Flight have made already. You know, it hasn't been out five minutes uh, to this aircraft. The first one being the EFB. Now, this is something that I was actually really interesting to hear other YouTubers like uh, Bell Geode and the VR Pilot. By the way, I'll have those channels linked in the description below. If you want to check them out, please feel free to do so because they're fantastic YouTubers, very authentic, very honest. And that's what we need right now in this YouTube -y thing we do. But anyway, uh, you can see there the EFB, it's kind of difficult to see. Now, the reason why I didn't mention that as a problem in my preview is because I was using the aero. And let me tell you, in the aero, I just look like that. And I can already see at the bottom, just by moving my eyes, I can read that EFB. But in the Reverb D2, which we are in today, that is a problem. I can't read that unless I do that. Craning my neck. I can't even talk very well. I sound weird now because I'm craning my neck. So what they've done is, if you can now, with uh, version 1.1, which will be released very soon, by the way, uh, I'm not sure it'll be released by the time this video goes out, but hopefully very soon. If you click on the edge of the EFB, look at that. It now is in a much easier place to see. That is a great feature. I love that. So thank you so much to Martin, uh, the main man behind this aircraft, for implementing that. And by the way, also I'd like to thank everybody for joining the community flight uh, live stream where Martin very graciously uh, answered all your questions. And we had a lot of questions for him. <laughs> I'll sorry for him a little bit, but it's only because we're so passionate and we love this aircraft so much. Uh, and by the way, I'll have a link in the description below where you can find this beautiful bird if you haven't picked it up already. This is by far the best training jet aircraft for Microsoft Flight Simulator at the moment. It really is. So what else has changed? Lots of things, actually. In fact, some of the things... Um, I'm not going to mention everything. I'm just going to mention two more things that are really related to VR particularly. The other thing I like is that you can now jump into the back using the EFB, if you look at that control, it says front, if I change that, look at that, we're now in the back. That is such a useful feature, specifically when, of course, in VR, it is absolutely brilliant to be in the back seat. In fact, we're gonna do that a bit later on in this quick little video. So we'll just jump back into the front again. By the way, if it's a bit jittery on the screen, that's because I'm in VR. Uh, it will show the jitters on the mirror, but I don't see them in the headset. It's perfectly fine. So the last thing I'm going to show you is the drop tanks, which is a new feature. Um, I noticed that the Hawk does drink a lot of fuel, but with these added drop tanks, you can definitely fly a lot longer, which is really cool. And I really like how they're implemented in this payload manager right at the bottom here of the EFB. So if I click this here, look at the aircraft as well. Notice how it will hunker down with that extra weight. Here we go. Look at that. And again. Ah, brilliant. So if we go outside now, we've now got those very sexy looking drop tanks. I've got to say, it actually makes the Hawk look even more menacing. That rainbow is spectacular, isn't it? Isn't it? Superb. Right, anyway, so I thought I'd just show you those three things. There's lots more that they've added, and I'll, as I say, put the change log in the description below. I'm going to get this all fired up. I'll meet you at the end of the runway, and we're going to go for a little spin over to one of our destinations uh, that we did fly over in the community flight, which is Lady Bower Reservoir. And uh, I guess we'll have to dodge some storms and rain while we're doing it. So I'll see you very soon. Righty ho guys, I hope you're all strapped in and ready to go. Look at this! For a scene. Pretty dramatic, I would say. We've got two rainbows on top of each other. <laughs> all procedurally generated, as only Microsoft Flight Simulator knows how. It's pretty amazing. In fact, what we'll do is we'll get some, uh, we'll get some panel lighting going on here. Definitely gonna need that today, I think. So yeah, the uh, version 1.1 of the Hawk 
just feels even more polished than before and to think that it's only been out what about a week and a half or so not even that the time's recording and they're already on it and listening to all of you know the community feedback which is what we want really we're very lucky to have just flight in our corner i have to say all right we'll get lined up here and we'll get cracking And straight into the clag we go. <laughs> what a state the weather is in today. But I must admit it's really good fun flying the aircraft in weather like this because you can really play with the clouds and that's what I'm going to do today actually. And first of all, what I'm going to do is jump into the back. Look at that. As easy as that. I, that's brilliant. Thank you so much Just Flight for just making our lives so much easier. And here we are. Now just to let you know that most of my settings are either on ultra or high. I may post a new setup video if you really do want one. Because enough things have changed now for me to post some new information. But I don't generally tend to uh, post settings videos every single week. I think that's just very, very bizarre. And I wouldn't do that because I think really it's just for views, guys, to be honest. Um, and I don't really want to do that. I just want to post stuff when I've got something worth talking about and in this case I think I've got enough changes that I've made to provide a decent updated setup guide for Revo G2 owners. I'll also be posting plenty of aero setup guides as well once units start uh, shipping out because I know many of you will want to know how to best possibly use that headset in your various sims. And uh, as I'm getting to know the headset more and more, I've got plenty of uh, tweaks and tips that I'll be able to provide for you. Look at that, wow. I know I say wow a lot, guys, but can you blame me? I mean, VR and this sim is just a match made in heaven. And it's great to be back in the Reverb G2 as well. I really do love this headset. Anybody who's, uh, you know, thinking about upgrading to the Aero but it's going to cost a lot of money and you're not sure, if you've got the Reverb G2 and you're happy, just keep this headset, guys. Honestly, it's still a fantastic proposition for VR. And I do feel that Microsoft Flight Simulator really does use this headset to its full potential. Now I think the only thing I don't like about this Hawk um, is the fact that I don't want to fly anything else now. <laughs> I'm a GA guy usually, but for some reason this Hawk has got right under my skin. I mean properly under my skin. And I just fly all the time now. I just, I don't know what it is about this bird, but it just feels so alive and beautiful to fly. Just listen to it. It's just feels so good in the air it's fluid and that's something that is quite difficult to um, really replicate in Microsoft Flight Simulator simply because this flight model uses lookup tables so it's not quite the same as X-Plane so for just flight to be able to implement such a fluid flight model like like they have with the Piper series as well it's a testament to their sort of design team and talent to be honest right anyway I'm not really looking at the GPS because I kind of know where I am. But Lady Bower is just over this way. And uh, if you don't know what Lady Bower is, it's a huge reservoir in Derbyshire that the Lancasters used to practice on as part of the Dam Buster Raid. And it's also a very nice area to um, kind of go for walks and bike rides and I mean motorcycle rides to some fantastic roads around here we're gonna go nice and low over this lake here the performance in the Arriva G2 really is staggering but you know what's even more impressive 
The Riva G2 and Aero perform very similar. And that is thanks to the Vario Bay software. Right then. Nice tight turn, you can hear our pilot pulling the G's there. Another nice touch. This weather is terrible. <laughs> Look at those rain effects. There's the first dam coming into view. Nice. Look at that rain there. You can hear the pilots straining as well. And that's me, of course. I'm able to talk ample high G maneuvers because I'm a trained fighter pilot. Got all my skills in DCS. <clears throat> Anyway, right, yes, so there we are, over the other bridge, and out the other side, and back up again, into the clear blue sky ahead. What a treat! This is so special. So really that's all I'm going to show you for today guys, this is version 1.1, it will be in your hands very very soon. Massive congratulations to Martin and the team for producing the very best, I'm going to say best aircraft ever for this sim at this stage to be honest because it just, I just love it so much, I cannot stop flying it. And uh, I'm going to head now to Aria Scampton for a bit of a display. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already please feel free to do so, 80% of people watching my channel are not subscribed so feel free to uh, show the love and i'll see you again very soon take care and bye for now and by the way plenty of aero content coming next week see you soon